Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Lama MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Maverick. In this video, we're going to call what we call the uh, complete guide video here. We're going to cover all the standard equipment as well as what all the different package available in standalone options on the XLT trim of the 2023 Ford Maverick. So if you like videos like this, want to stay up to date on product information, you might check out our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified next time we have another video uploaded to YouTube channel. We are going to dive in. We're going to first start talking about some of the mechanical features and some of the safety features and then go around the exterior and such and talk about those different packages on this uh, this model year. So let's go ahead and, and jump in first. We are going to use uh, right now Ford's website is not up to date does not have the 23 information build in price, uh, but we are gonna use uh, the 2022 uh, uh, version to kind of show you what it looks like at least because that hasn't changed for this year. And then we'll try to get you some marketing uh, images and such of the different new packages for this year. So let's jump in and do that. So we're gonna go in here and go to of course 4.com to go ahead and do our build in price here. And uh, if you just go up here to trucks and SUV and trucks and vans, you're gonna see the 2022 Ford Maverick. And that we're gonna go into the build in price here for that thank you and go ahead and go in here so we're going to start a build here there we go and we're going to go to the xlt trim so in here we're actually going to we're going to cover pricing as we go through this so the xlt uh for this year uh showing the price of 23,360. um it looks like uh for the xlt trim it actually is 24,455 for this year whether you're ecoboost or hybrid it is the same price for both unlike it was last year uh so you'll notice this in here actually goes up for price when you go to ecoboost this year they're both the same price on for front wheel drive uh whether you go ecoboost or not so 24,455 is the price on that let's go ahead and hit uh, start our build here and let it load uh, now for this you can get the hybrid is a front wheel drive only so we're going to go to the uh, powertrain here and, and show you that so the hybrid is front wheel drive only as you can see here but if i do go to the ecoboost engine then it does give me the flexibility of going front wheel drive again same base price as the hybrid uh, and then if i add the all-wheel drive it's showing a different price here all-wheel drive is 2220 uh, 2220 uh, this year and so that is the up up charge when you go to uh, the all-wheel drive so you can go all-wheel drive and ecoboost but not on the hybrid so keep that in mind for this year and that's to do two different configurations uh, for the uh, for this year now um, they will come with auto start stop technology so when you come to stoplight stop sign it'll shut the vehicle off and then turn it back on on your hybrid vehicles uh, that just allows for that hybrid to be more functional and be able to get you better fuel economy uh, in the vehicle now of course the uh, the hybrids will come with automatic continuous variable transmission uh, that goes along with the hybrid and then the ecoboost will come with the eight speed automatic transmission for that configuration of course optional all-wheel drive you do have an electronic parking brake that comes with this and also on for the hybrids you're going to get electronic brake boost so uh, that's going to really help the braking so that regenerates some of that back into the battery now want to go a little bit longer going in that that full uh the kind of the hybrid mode they are giving you better uh, fuel economy of course you do have e-pass electric power assist steering and, and you're going to also have the variable assist uh steering uh, power steering and you're going to have electronic stability control uh, so those are all the different uh, you know mechanical features you get there now let's talk about some safety features as well so for the the safety features airbags first you have a driver and front passenger uh, front airbags so that's a dual stage airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle you do have a driver knee airbag that deploys down from the steering column so protect you from those front collisions and if you get a side collision, the driver and front passenger have side impact airbags that deploys from the side of the seat uh, to protect them from that side collision. It usually happens in that A and B pillar on the vehicle. You also do get safety canopy side curtain airbags. This can pull down with a rollover sensor. So if a rollover situation in a, an accident, then it's going to deploy those airbags down to help protect from breaking glass coming in and hitting uh, the passengers and hopefully deflect most of that away from them, uh, which is real nice. You do get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking uh, and pedestrian detection. So if there's a car going slower than you up, up in front of you, maybe they're stopped or they're turning and you're not paying attention and you're going to hit them. The system knows that, lets you know that. Uh, it does uh, give you that panic warning there as well as tones that you need to stop and preloads those brakes so that you can stop even faster there. You do also get post-collision braking. 
So what that's going to do is if you have an, if you're in an accident and maybe you're unconscious and you're not able to put it in park, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident. Also, you do have that latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children uh, that just uh, allows you to be able to put those either whether it be a rear facing or a front facing car seat and secure it down into that seat where the seat cushion and seat back come together. There's some uh, harnesses there to be able to bolt uh, to buckle those down and tighten them down real good. And then if you have a front facing car seat, you can also have a tether that goes to the back behind the back seat and um, put it in there. So that way that top of that will stay back against that seat. Uh, a couple other things, you get secure lock, passive and a theft system, which means only the coded key could start the vehicle. So when you shut that off, it's going to lock that up. So that way, unless that coded key gets in there, it will not start it. Also, you do get perimeter alarm. Perimeter alarm has inclination and intrusion sensors. So if someone's going to break, you know, if you have the vehicle locked, there's nobody inside, it's going to set that perimeter alarm. So if somebody breaks a glass, tries to unlock the doors, it gets motion inside there, intrusion, then it's going to know that and set those horns off and honk, you know, flash the lights, honk the horns and everything. Also, if someone tries to take your wheels, if they jack up the front or the back, try to take your wheels off it's going to know that as well and do the same thing honk those horns flash the lights and everything for you so that's all your mechanical and safety features let's talk about some of the uh, exterior features now now looking at the exterior features here uh, on the front you will see this this have a distinct look from the xlt and the xl so it's upgraded here for the xlt trim so uh, you will see here it does have the black mesh grill it does have a little different design for the xlt than the xl has and you're going to get the gray bars that come across there instead of the black you would see on the xl trim here also uh, steel bumpers and you're going to see that molded in black bumper protector down here as well uh to kind of help protect from you know different things getting kicked up and everything uh, and that way you don't have to worry about chipping paint and that kind of thing also, you're going to get automatic LED headlights here as well. So automatic is, uh, come on, automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light for you. Full LEDs up there as well, which is really nice for you. Also, we do have daytime running lamps uh, that come on. So you can set those daytime running lights if you need to. So those that way those headlights are on during uh, the daytime. Also, you on the XLT trim, you also to get wiper activated headlights, which means they're called rain lamps. If you have your uh, wipers on, those headlights will come on as well. And then you get auto high beams. So they work a lot like your automatic headlights in the sense that, uh, you know, if it's dark enough outside, it's going to turn the high beams on. Someone approaches you or if you're in the city lights, it's going to turn those off. So that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Now, moving around to the side over here. You'll notice a dedicated wheel for the XLT trim. It is a carbonized gray finish, 17-inch painted wheel with the all-season tires that go along with that. Your badging will switch from the XL fender badge to the XLT fender badge. Uh, still get the molded in black mirror caps on the outside. Uh, you will get a manual fold um, exterior mirror, but also you're going to get power glass for that mirror and you're going to get the blind spot mirror. So it's that little angled mirror in the corner so that we can see vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. You will get molded in uh, body uh, molded in black door handles here, so similar to what you get on the mirror caps, uh, as well as your front and rear bumpers. And you're going to get you'll notice up here too. You're going to have a keyless entry with a flip key, so you can unlock and lock it using the remote uh, with it. You can also have a keypad here as well, so you can program that to a certain code, and you can unlock and lock the vehicle without having the keys if you want to, or you don't have to get the keys out if you want to unlock it that way too. So you'll have that as well. You do get privacy glass in these back windows and back glass, uh, so you'll have that. And let's see, what else am I missing here? Um, oh, forgot to mention on the wheels and tires, you do have tire pressure monitoring system on all four of those uh, wheels or the tires i should say and you also get four wheel disc brake as well and then keyless entry keypad oh rocker molding is going to be that molded in black as well and we did see that for the xl trim and we do have the easy fuel capas filler door uh that just real nice about that is you don't have a cap to worry about leaving behind getting your hands dirty just open that door there and it's a double door uh, locking system so it does have to have the correct size nozzle to be able to pull, put it in there open that second door uh, that's why if you do run out of gas, you need to, uh, you'll want to make sure you use the funnel that's included uh, to be able to fill that up. You do get a 15-gallon fuel tank for the hybrid, 17-gallon fuel tank for the gas motors there. Let's move around to the rear of the vehicle. Uh, this will work here. So you do have on the back of the cab, you do have a uh, cargo light up here. So it is a, and, and also the 
center high mounted stop light as well so that third brake light up there too and those lights on the outside you can see that are white allow you to be able to turn that light on so you can see into the bed a little bit better you had a fixed rear glass back here again privacy glass as i mentioned uh, you do have a power tailgate lock so when you lock use the remote to lock the doors it locks the tailgate as well and when you unlock it also will unlock that tailgate molded in black door handle and your bumper on the back back here as well to kind of go along with the theme on the front and the side over there rear view camera so uh, behind that ford emblem right underneath so that way as you're backing up you're gonna be able to see behind you uh, keep in mind you don't have the sensors so it won't alert you if you get close to anything but you can see behind you uh, when you're backing up uh, you do also have the trailer sway control it's going to be standard equipment on this you can upgrade for a hitch uh, so, but that'll come with the trailer sway control so that you can do that but the hitch is optional so we'll talk more about different packages that have the hitch included as well as a standalone option for that and uh, the mini spare tire is uh, tucked underneath that uh, underneath the uh, bed there and you right in between where the tailgate and the bumper meet you can, there's a gap there and that's where you're going to actually there's going to be a hole in there that's where you're going to lower that jack down or lower the the tire down i should say with the extension you get from the jack kit <laughs> that's what i meant to say there um also inside the bed you're going to get pickup tie downs and you gain a few when you go to the xlt trim i think you're up to 10 tie downs now on the xlt trim and you get a cubby in that passenger side so it's a little uh, cubby on the outside if i have a clip i'll, I'll kind of show you that uh, but you're going to have a rear cubby uh, in the back back there to be able to just uh, put things in if you want to uh, so you'll have that on the passenger side when you go to the xlt trim now let's move to the interior and uh, talk about some of the interior features now moving to the interior of the vehicle you will see this does have a little bit unique look than the xl does have on it uh, so unique cloth seats here. You can see a little bit different look to them. Uh, some of the a, a lighter gray here with the, the gray orange accents as well there. You're going to see it down in the console area and several other places in the vehicle. Um, and it does have, oh, also the vents will have that too. So if I go to this, you can kind of see that vents has that too. Uh, have a little orange accent to it as well as on the uh, door handles too. So this actually is like a silicone. It actually can come right out if you don't want it in there. You could take it out if you want to. But it's kind of grippy material, so you'd want to, probably would want to leave it in there so that you can, uh, things won't slide around in there. But a little bit different look. Some people don't like the orange accents in these. Uh, but I do like it. And then also you're going to see that that dash kind of matches with the seats as well. So uh, anyway, cloth bucket seats here for the front with a console, flow through console here with a, a media bin up here to put things in as well as a storage console right there. And then you'll notice the seat, full bench seat back here. So that seat back can, can come up forward. Again, you can behind is where the jacks we located back here. Uh, also, the seat cushion itself does come up too with under seat storage in there. Uh, it goes clear across in there, which is really cool to have. And you're not seeing it here, but you do have an armrest that comes down, it flips down with two cup holders. Uh, that is standard on the XLT trim. You don't have to go up to the luxury to get it, uh, but not sure why they're not showing it in the images there. Uh, and then behind the console, you're going to have like some USB ports back there too uh, to be able to power different devices. I think there's at least a PowerPoint back there. Uh, see if it mentions it on here. Um, actually, I think uh, I do not have it mentioned on here. So I think it's a PowerPoint in the back. It uh, does not have USB ports unless you go up to the 110 outlet, which we'll talk about later as an option. Okay, where was I now? Also, you, your seat does have a... The, Driver's seat is a six-way manual adjustment seat with lumbar, so that means it'll go up and down, forward and back, and the recline. There's your six ways. Passenger seat is a four-way, so you can uh, actually there's a lever up front, go forward and back, and then this lever here is for the backrest. Uh, so that's how that'll work there. Um, and then you do have, let's see, also moving inside, let's go here, power windows, power locks, uh, power mirrors, as we talked about here. The power windows do have one touch down for the driver's window so that left front one up there uh, if you want to be able to just hard press it down and it'll roll that window down you don't have to hold it uh, coming up as well as all the other windows you still have to hold it uh, just so you know that uh, power locks as i mentioned uh, you do have nice storage bins i don't know if i can get a good image of this here but nice storage bins right here in the door you can even put a laptop in there uh, some of the smaller laptops like i think a 15 inch uh, laptop it'll fit in there also, your one liter bottles, you notice they actually cut out the door handle there. So that way, if you want to put those taller um, bottles, you can do that and fit those in there. Um, okay, going back to this. Uh, 
All right, it does have a black uh, urethane steering wheel. It does have manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So you just pull the lever underneath and it'll go up and down, forward and back. Steering wheel controls on there. Uh, on this, on, There's controls for your audio, I should say, on the steering wheel, as well as you do have your cruise control there too. And a 4.2 inch productivity screen in your instrument cluster there. You do have a keyed ignition, so it does have remote keyless entry with a flip key. So you just press a little button and the key comes out of the remote and you can you have to put it in. So it is a keyed start for the XLT trim. Um, your climate, single zone climate control. So that means everybody in there has the same temperature there. Uh, and then you do have, uh, you'll notice there, an 8-inch center stack screen there, which is real nice. It gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, have has all that. You get USB ports down in here, as you can see type c and type in a type a usb port and a powerpoint so if you use a smart usb ports you can use the android auto apple carplay there um, and this does have four pass connect so it allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the ford pass app so it's a free app you download you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere you can unlock and lock your vehicle you can schedule remote start times uh, you can set up all that kind of stuff see the the tire pressure in your vehicle the fuel that you have in the vehicle a lot of great functionality out of the ford pass connect and that is free service your stereo is an am fm six speaker audio sound system again we mentioned the eight the eight inch touch screen there the overhead console does include a sunglass bin and you do have um, the lights up here there as well for there's two lights there uh, you can turn them on or off or you know have them on, set for the door there and then down here you will see a rotary dial shifter so one of the, the great benefits of that is let's say you're in drive you go to open the doors and you then don't think about it and try to get out it's going to automatically put it in park for you so that's a, a great uh, functionality to have and then as i mentioned there's a powerpoint there there's also one behind the console and then those uh, USB ports right there on the front. So that's all of our standard equipment here uh, for the exterior and interior and the functional mechanical, all those features. But let's talk about some different packages available, and there's a couple new ones for this year. All right, so now let's talk about a couple different packages available. And uh, as you can see, last year we had these four packages available. We've got a couple extra ones this year, but let's first talk about the ones that were available last year as well. And the first one is that Copilot 360 package. Um, so it is the, I believe that is the same price it is this year, if I remember right. So uh, cool. let me look it up here real quick. Should have got, should have looked it up before I started a clip, but let's see. Uh, the Copilot 360 is, there it is, 650 So it is the same price as this year. So it does include, as you can see there, the Bliss with cross check Alert also includes a lane keeping system with the lane keeping aid, the alert, and the driver alert uh, features as well. And on the hybrids, it also includes the full-size spare. So lane, the Bliss basically is a blind spot information system. So like you see in the image there, someone's in your blind spot, it's going to light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And then the lane keeping system, um, oh, also a part of that cross traffic alert, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to alert you as well. It's going to series of tones that you need to stop, not back up. Also puts a message on the dash telling you if they come from the left or the right uh, as well. And part of the lane keeping system is your aid, your alert, and your driver alert. So the driver alert, we're going to work our way backwards here. Driver alert just, uh, just kind of alerts you. If you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to alert you and let you know you're doing that. Um, the lane keeping alert system that allow you to leave your lane, but when you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate that steering wheel. The aid system will not allow you to leave your lane, so it'll go over to that lane and then bring you back in. So it does have to see those lines, so keep that in mind for that system. Um, but it'll you know, give you that that lane keeping system, uh, something you can you know, be turned on, whether you have your cruise on or off. It is not. It's a little different than the lane centering. Lane keeping can be worked even without your cruise control as long as you have that activated. And then, of course, full-size spare for your hybrids. Uh, so that is thrown in. Your EcoBoost would still need to order the optional spare tire if you add this package. So uh, great package again. That was a very popular package last year, and this year is the same price as last year. Okay, now let's talk about the XLT Luxury Package, another very popular package last year. Uh, it also did hold up a lot of builds because of that, because there's some things that were included in that package. Some of those have been taken out. We'll talk about which ones, uh, what features have been taken out for this year. And uh, this year, that package is uh, 1730 uh, so you can see it's must, uh, it's less because they took out some things. So let's talk about what's included in that package this year. Uh, still, so we do have the eight-way power driver seat and six-way manual passenger seat. So you, you up, upgraded to the power uh, seat here as part of this package. 
you also get the the 400 watt inverter not only in the cab which would be behind the console but also in the bed itself so you're gonna have an outlet and an extra cubby on the left side uh, so or not uh, not in the cubby I should say an outlet in the side back there you're gonna also get the LED box lighting back there too so you're gonna they're gonna come right together there LED lighting and you're gonna get the 110 outlet in the bed also, uh, this is where also, just like the Copilot 360, the uh, hybrids will also get a fr uh, full-size spare tire with this package. Uh, EcoBoost will still need to add that as optional equipment for you. You're going to get uh, the heated mirrors uh, with the body-colored skull caps. So if I, let's see if I add this uh, package here, so you can kind of see now instead of the black, you're getting body-colored uh, skull caps, what they call that, mirror caps. And you're going to get the heated mirror feature. So heated mirror and you're going to get the uh, skull pack, uh, the body colored. Uh, also, speaking of heated features, you're going to get heated seats as well included in this package. So heated mirrors, heated seat that goes along with that. And you're going to get the heated steering wheel. So this year, the steering wheel, uh, unlike last year, if you click on the eye, it says it's leather wrapped steering wheel. They're trying to be a little more better and uh, with the environment and such. So instead of leather, they're actually calling it a soft vinyl. So they're changing the material to the, the wrap on the steering wheel. Uh, should feel fine, I think, either way. Uh, but I think it's probably more of the ActiveX material that they put on the seats for your uh, Lariat trim. Uh, then it will be leather wrapped. So you will get the heated and the vinyl wrapped steering wheel for that and uh, LED box lighting. You also get a trailer hitch. So you're gonna get the hitch uh, for you, four pin wiring as well. So that's gonna also be included in this package. And you're gonna get the windshield wiper de-icers. Uh, so that way, it, what's really nice about that is here in Kansas, if you the windshield defrost it, the windshield wipers get wet, they'll freeze up. This will help with that so you won't uh, have that happen. Uh, so those are all included. You can see a couple features that are not included this year. So the the bed tie down locking rails with the two locking brackets are not included this year. So if you go to this, you can see that's this rail system that comes across here, one on each side. That is not included this year with this package. As well as you see the spray and bed liner, that is not included this year as well. So neither one of those features are in this package and it does not get the remote start for this year. So those are three features that are standalone options this year instead of being included in this package. So just keep that in mind. It is much cheaper this year, but it does include those features. So if you want any of those three options, you're gonna to need to add those as a standalone option. Uh, the remote start does require to have this package to get it, which we'll talk about that when we get the standalone options. Uh, but again, very popular package. Hopefully with this year's changes, taking those, those little features out, it'll help. People that want the heated steering wheel, the heated seats, the driver, the power driver seat, and some of these uh, nice luxury features uh, that they're going to get that, and it won't take as long to get theirs built. Now, a couple of features that are available on the EcoBoost uh, engine, and and this and there does require um both of these actually require all-wheel drive, and they require the EcoBoost motor for that. And this first one is the 4K tow package. So standard towing on this is 2,000 pounds of towing. If you want to go to 4,000 pounds with the EcoBoost all-wheel drive, you can do it by adding this package. So this does going to upgrade uh, your tires a little bit. So you're going to get a, it does say all-season tire, but it does upgrade uh, upgrade the, tre the tread there, I should say, for that. Also, this is where you're going to get the receiver hitch, and you're going to get a 7-pin wiring. So some people are like, well, you get the tow package with the Luxury. If I get the Luxury in this, you know, do they give me credit? No, they don't give you credit. Uh, in fact, let's talk about the price on this. Uh, the uh, the 4K tow package is the same as it was last year at 745 uh, for this package. Um, and so you'll get whatever's best when it comes to that. So in this case, you get a trailer hitch receiver with 7-pin wiring because you're going to get, as you can see, a trailer brake controller down there that really kind of requires that 7-pin wiring to be able to control the brake of the trailer. Uh, so that one is what's going to be included in this. And then you're going to also get the transmission oil cooler, the higher capacity radiator, as well as the upgraded cooling fan that all will help that motor function a little bit better to get you those 4,000 pounds. So really upgrades, keeps that engine cooled with the bigger radiator, the, in, the transmission oil cooler for, uh, you know, that shifting up and down through those, those gears, and then the extra upgraded cooling fan as well. Uh, and then this also does get upgraded drive ratio, which will help as you pull away from stops with that trailer behind you. Uh, that different drive ratio will help you pull pull away and give you that, that starting capability with a trailer back there. So this package here, again, requires all-wheel drive and also does require EcoBoost motor. Okay, let's talk about another package that requires 
all-wheel drive and the EcoBoost, and that is the FX4 off-road package. Um, so if you have that configuration, you can get this package. And this is going to allow you to go off-road and have some great capabilities to go along with this package here. Uh, it is the same as it was last year. It's $800 uh, as of right now the, at the recording of this video. So you're $800 for this package. And it actually upgrades a little bit more than what we're seeing here. So let's talk about some of these features. Of course, it does upgrade your wheel. So 17-inch unique aluminum wheel. You can kind of see it in that picture there. Uh, and here, let's just go ahead and add this and kind of show you what it looks like on the image. You'll also see all-terrain tires are also included there. So there you go. Uh, there you go. You can kind of see the wheel there. So that gets you a different wheel. So black alloy wheel. So it looks real sharp on this. It looks uh, real good with this, this package, actually. So you're going to get that upgraded uh, wheel, and you're going to get the all-terrain tire going along with that. Your productivity screen. If we go to the interior, it is going to be, you'll notice now, it's a six and a half inch uh, productivity screen. So really the only way you can get that screen right there is with this uh, package on the XLT trim, uh, which is really cool to have. You also get, if we go back to the exterior, uh, you get your tow hooks on the front. So there you go. Exposed tow hooks on the front up here. So that's another upgrade you get with this package. You will also get the FX4 decals on the side so you can see the f and x being in red uh with the four and black there so you're going to get the fx4 uh, badging on the side you also get hill descent control to help you if you're you know coming down of course a hill and it helps you descend down a little bit better also you get the off-road screens and the instrument cluster which is the main reason that you get the upgraded instrument cluster to the six and a half is you're getting the off-road screens in there uh and that makes it a little bit easier it's going to kind of set that out to uh for this uh different uh, setting there you also get the rotary dial shifter which will include some drive modes so down in here actually kind of the dial actually doesn't include that. I don't know why they put, included that there. But there is going to be a button down here on the console itself that, in fact, let's go ahead and do this. See if it shows us those. There you go. You get these buttons down here, and one of them is your drive mode button. And with this one here, you're going to get a couple extra drive modes. You're going to get that hill descent control uh, button down there. But you're also, for your um, drive mode, you're going to get a normal, a mud rut, a sand, and a tow haul. But for this year, and if you actually go to that package, we'll look at that. Go back up to the packages. There you go. Where are that? Come on. There you go. Go up to the packages. Uh, you will see last year it was sand, mud, rut, mode. Um, there's also normal mode. But for this year, there's a slippery mode as well. So that helps out in those um, snowy situations as well as wet situations there. Also get your skid plates. That helps protect the underbody, the transmission, the fuel tank and everything from getting punctured by anything that you might go uh, over if you're off going off road you also get the receiver hitch four pin connector as i mentioned so if you add this with the 4k it'd be the seven pin connector uh, and then heavy duty uh, engine cooling fan and you get the heavy duty radiator so upgrades that for you know the capabilities of being off road and such and wanting to go maybe a little bit hard and drive off road with this so a couple of different things and something else that i noticed for this year was that they actually mentioned the suspension uh, well, last year they didn't mention a major suspension upgrade this year they actually say it does have a performance suspension so i i assume upgraded shocks for this one too uh, last year they did not mention that they mentioned mainly the capabilities of going off-road giving you some of these features but for this year they do uh, mention upgraded suspension so i assume upgraded shocks is what's included there now keep in mind this is, does require all-wheel drive and this package is not available with your trimmer package which is new for this year and not available with your uh, black appearance package either so uh, keep that in mind if you want the black appearance package you cannot get this package so it's one or the other uh, did not mention either on the fx4 or the 4k tow package that that was unavailable with the trimmer package either so um, you need to start uh, thinking about that because uh, i did not mention that earlier so that's a couple uh, things to note on those two uh, all-wheel drive ecoboost packages uh, for this year so that is an option for you if you plan to go off-road and you know if you want that with the 4k this would be the setup to go with because you get both those packages which you cannot get on the trimmer package uh, which we're going to talk about next so let's talk about the uh, trimmer off-road package and this one does uh, get its own all-wheel drive system for this one so uh, it actually is a different body code so you know front wheel drive is a certain body code all-wheel drive is another one this one gets its own because it is based off the advanced four-wheel drive system we see on the bronco sport so that uh, so you know does require to have this package to get that suspension 
which is real nice. So you're gonna get an off-road tune suspension with this one here. Unique front and rear springs that increases the ride height, uh, which is real nice to have. Also unique front and rear shocks too. Uh, Tremor logo on those rear shocks. So really upgrades those. If you've seen the Tremor package on the Ranger and the F-150, you know, kind of know what that's, uh, what that's gonna look like. You also do get trail control with the, the uh, Tremor package. So trail control, it is like cruise control for the trail. So you just set that cruise between zero and 19 miles an hour. It takes care of all the accelerating and, and slowing down and everything. And you just can worry about the steering of the vehicle, which is real nice and uh, to have that. You will get front front skid plates uh, for the for underbody uh, uh, protection there. So uh, pretty nice uh, skid plates underneath it. Advanced 4x4 system with that twin clutch rear drive unit like you see on the Bronco Sport Badlands Edition. Uh, with a four-wheel drive lock, uh, which is real nice. So that'd be a four-low kind of position there. Uh, rear drive, a unit lock as well. And then your selectable drive modes are normal, tow haul, slippery, mud ruts, and sand, just like we did see with the FX4 off-road package. Uh, you also get the off-road screen in the cluster, as we mentioned, just like in the off-road package. Um, and then, uh, so that should be a six inch, and as it doesn't mention, but it should be a, a probably upgraded uh, cluster, but it does not, doesn't mention that. So heavy duty transmission uh, uh, cooler there. You also get the hitch with the four pin connector. So this is another place of time where you get that hitch. Full size spare is gonna be standard on this. Uh, it does come with the uh, 17 inch machine face tarnished dark alloy wheel with the orange painted pocket there's one pocket that's painted orange on each of the wheels pretty cool 17 inch all-terrain tires and don't forget about the trimmer highlights on the exterior so you're going to get a, a new front bumper so with an improved approach angle so it's going to look not more squared off it's more angled it does have an upper grille that's unique with the trimmer orange accents so it's going to be a carbonized gray with the orange accent in the grill, the, tube, the the bar grill, you're going to get front toe hooks uh, that are going to be exposed. They're going to be uh, the Tremor orange painted accent. And you're also going to get the Tremor decal on the uh, bedside. Uh, and then also Tremor badgings on the vehicle too. You're going to want one on the back of the tailgate. A unique front and rear Ford logos. So those logos going to be darkened up a little bit. So you don't really see that. Like you see that Ford oval that is blue on the front. It's going to have that kind of a smoked uh, tent to it. So um, black chrome headlights and taillights assembly as well. So on these vehicles, you kind of see the um, silver accent in those headlights. Now you're going to have that black uh, headlight uh, um, bezels is what they call that. And then you also you give a unique color. A color option is available on the trimmer, not available on any of the others. And that is the avalanche gray that's available on the trimmer package. And then on the interior, you're going to get the black onyx interior. The only way to get that color in here is with the black appearance package. Um, this and will have Tremor orange stitching and logo accents on the seats, uh, which is really cool. And then also orange stitching in several different places around the vehicle. A Tremor instrument panel that's specific to it and floor console and all weather mats as well, front and rear. And uh, you will also get carpeted. You'll still get your carpeted mats to go along with it. So remember, this is not available with your black appearance package or your FX4 off-road package. Uh, you have to pick this one. It does uh, lower uh, maximum amount of towing on this and it's 2,000 pounds because uh, you cannot get the 4K tow package with this either. So not for, you cannot get the 4K tow package, FX4 package, or the black appearance package with this package. So pretty cool uh, trimmer offer package. It's new for this year. If you're wanting it, uh, the, the price on that trimmer package here is uh, 2,995. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and actually it's showing that that trimmer off-road package starts at uh, 24,455 and then you add the 2,995 price to that uh, to get you that price. So there you go. So trimmer package, pretty cool, new for this year. Let's talk about another thing you can add to the Tremor package, and that is the Tremor Off-Road Plus Appearance Package, uh, which gives you everything that we already talked about as part of the Tremor package and also gives you some different ups, upgraded graphics and appearance to the vehicle. So what are you going to get with that? You're going to get a hood and lower door carbonized gray graphic decal. So on the hood, you're going to get some decals as well as on the side and the body side uh, that are going to be uh, explicit to the uh, trimmer package. You'll get a carbonized gray roof. So that painted roof. Last year, we saw a black appearance package that was black painted. This year, it's carbonized gray painted. You will also get carbonized gray mirrors 
So those mirror caps, instead of body colored as part of the luxury package, um, you'll get the gray mirror caps when you get the luxury package. So when you go with the XLT luxury package with this, then instead of the body colored mirror caps, it's gonna be the carbonized gray mirror caps. Otherwise, it'll be the molded in black for that package. So again, this does require the off-road, uh, the trimmer package. This package, uh, if you include this with the trimmer, is a total of 4490 if you go this route. And uh, just a great way to, uh, to upscale it. So they're saying, you know, if you can't get the black appearance package, add this package to it if you want to have kind of a more of a sport look to it. Let's talk about another package that is new for this year that's available, and that is the black appearance package. If you want to upscale it, give it some nice uh, sport look to it. Now, keep in mind, this package is not available with your FX4 off-road package and is not available with your trimmer package or trimmer appearance package. Uh, so, But it is uh, available with your 4K tow package, luxury package, and the Copilot 360 package. So what are you going to get in this package here? I'm going to show you a graphic of this on the screen. So you're going to get an 18-inch unique machine face ebony alloy wheel. So a dedicated wheel for this package. Uh, you'll also get, just like in the trimmer package, the Ford, the Black Edition Ford logos front and back. And you're going to also get the black door handles uh, with this. You're going to also get the grill will be blacked out. So you get a black grill, probably the same grill as the XL trim gets, uh, I would think. Uh, your, mirror, your mirror caps also going to be black. Uh, your seats on the interior are going to be black, as well as you're going to get interior accents that are black. Uh, and then the headlight and taillight assemblies, like on the trimmer package, will also be darkened and blacked out there too. So again, kind of bringing all that black appearance to it. It's you know this is a great package too. If somebody does not like uh, some of the interior accents in the seats, then they could go with this one. You get the black onyx seats. Still going to have the environment that's going to be that navy pier environment, but it's going to give you the black accents. Now it does say interior accents, and it does say seats. So black onyx seats, and I assume maybe where the orange accents are, are going to be black uh, on there. So that way you don't see, maybe see the orange accents. We haven't seen the interior images yet, uh, but uh, black appearance package can be added to your vehicle. Again, it's available with the luxury package, Copilot 360, and the 4K tow package, but is not available with your FX4 off-road package or either of your two tremor packages. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the standalone options, starting with your exterior standalone options. And we're going to actually use last year's build and price because a lot of them are the same as this year. And we'll uh, I'll update you. I got the, I have the prices in front of I want you to update you on this year's prices as of the release of this video here. Uh, of course, starting with the exterior features, just uh, moving on down, we'll go over which features are probably things that you should think about maybe leaving off your order and which of these features are uh, things that are dealer installed. Uh, versus what you should definitely get at the on the, at the factory if you'd like to get if you want to make sure you get those because uh, there's some of these that you you can't really get them afterwards you have to get them from the factory now we do have the splash cards first and that is something that you uh, Ford can put on there it is holding up a lot of builds right now splash cards or something would be installed at the factory but can be you can get those aftermarket uh, so you can get them for about the same price and you can install them yourself or have an uh, aftermarket company put them in uh, so let's see flash guards were eight nine or 180 last year and they're 180 again this year uh, you do have this toolbox swing case driver's side and passenger side so you have two of them here uh, this year uh, i think they did go up a little bit they're 320 this year and those are dealer installed options which means they'd be shipped to the dealership ahead of time the dealership would install it anyway uh, it's just that you, the dealer isn't charging you to have it installed because of the factory wanting you to put that on there so uh, this is uh, something if you click the little eye you can get a little more information what that looks like you can see it kind of goes over there and it swings out and then it kind of opens and looks like what it is right there in that image there. So pretty cool little uh, cases. Those don't seem to be holding up builds, at least they didn't last year uh, too much. We had a, uh, we had some people that had several of these dealer installed options. And I think the more of them you have, the more it could hold up. Because uh, if they have something low on one month, you know, one time, it could uh, hold up and being built on. So I'd say the less of those you put on your order, the, the better. And remember, these are things you can get later through Ford Accessories website. Uh, including these bed covers so we have tonneau covers we have a soft folding 
hard trifold and a hard roll up these are all constraint items uh, right now i would recommend trying to do that without it we do have a helpful video that kind of shows you how easy they are to install it takes about 30 minutes you can install it yourself you can get these through Ford Accessories website for about the same prices. And let's talk about the prices for this year because they have gone up. So that soft uh, folding uh, tonneau cover there or bed cover, uh, that one there is $590 for this year. So it went up just a little bit. The hard uh, tri-fold bed cover is uh, it is now $1,180 for this year. So it didn't go up by much. And $1,200 for the roll-up bed cover. Uh, there so those are the three options you get again if you get these on if you put these on your build the factory will put those on uh, on your trucks and then we'll charge you those rates uh, if you get this at a dealer have it done later you'll you're more likely to get uh, a scheduled production date faster but you will have to pay for an install fee if you want the dealer installed or you could just have the dealer get the, the bed cover for you and you can install it yourself or just have it delivered to your house one or the other you can get it through ford accessories website um, and then and occasionally they have deals on those where they'll have um, uh, different accessories with like 20% off or something. So if you want to, you could do it that way out. Uh, but if you do that, you have to order it. The dealer can't order it for you. The dealer doesn't get that discount you do. So you have to order it and then like install it yourself or have a, have somebody put it in for you. So if you go that route and you actually find a discount time, you might actually be able to be about the same cost as it would be if you didn't, if you did it at the factory. Bed extender is also something that's a, like a 2 or 3% constraint. That is also something that is holding up builds. There you go. There's your bed extender. Um, that is something that's put on at the factory. It's 370 this year as well. So you can kind of see it just kind of swings in. So it gets, it's real easy to install. So you can, again, something you can get through Ford Accessories pretty easily there. You do have the bed tray liner which actually this image is not, oh, you can't see it when you get bigger, but bed tray liner, I believe it is just kind of comes up a little bit. So it doesn't come up all the way, kind of like just a little liner that kind of sits in there. Um, so that is also holding up builds. Uh, it is 180 and something you can get through Ford accessories uh, on the vehicle. But if you do order it on your build, the factory will put it in for you. Uh, spray and bed liner, that is something that can be done at the factory. You can get it afterwards. A lot of different companies doing it. It's $4.95 this year as well. Um, so you can get the spray and bed liner. And last year, they took this out of the luxury package for a reason um, and said it was a constraint item even by itself. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at that. Hard drop-in liner as well is, a, is actually more constrained than the spray and liner. Uh, and that is $3.75 for this year as well. And is also something you can get later, have the dealership install for you if you'd like, um, with just a minimal install fee. You do have the bed mat, which is uh, removable. Um, so bed mat uh, is 140 this year as well. And so that is something you can put in there. Again, it, now is there an image for this one? There you go. So it is just a, line, a mat that goes on the bottom, does not protect the sides, uh, side walls at all. And that is something you can add to it. Again, the bed mat is holding up builds. And that you can install by yourself <laughs> real easy. Get that through Ford Accessories. That's what I would do. Protective fender uh, hood and fender film. Basically, that's like a, a protective film that's going to go on the top. It's like a 3M film that's clear. It goes on the hood. It goes on the fender. should protect from rock chips and such getting kicked up on there. Uh, that is holding up builds as well uh, on a lot of them. And let's see. Where is that listed on my sheet? Um is that anyway that one there i'm just trying to look for prices it's 360 done at the factory if you want to do it that way um there's a lot of different companies that can do those for you as well um but that is holding up builds i will tell you that it's a very low percentage that they produce with that on there the window deflectors so and that's something you can put on there as well those really aren't holding up the builds uh, those are done i think the window deflectors are dealer installed options so they would be shipped to the dealer ahead of time they're 150 this year and the dealership would install those but doesn't seem like those are holding up builds much but also something you can get through ford accessories as well uh, you do have the manuals uh, rear sliding window uh, so this is a factory installed option you definitely would want them to do uh, if you want to get it on yours uh, uh, definitely make sure you get it from the factory. It's 155 this year as well, and that is not holding up uh, builds from getting selected for scheduling. You do have the cargo bed net. Let's see if you can see a good image of that. So there you go. Kind of goes it uses those tie downs so things can't fly out of the bed uh, if you don't have a bed cover on there. So uh, that is also something that that's not holding up builds really. Uh, that is a dealer installed option. So it go ship to the dealer ahead of time and they'll put it in the vehicle for you. 
it's $75 for that option. Uh, not too bad. Uh, the trailer hitch, also a factory installed option. So some of the packages come with a trailer hitch, but if yours doesn't, or if you don't want those packages, you can still get the trailer hitch. It's $100 this year as well, and that is not holding up builds. Um, so keep that in mind. I, I, this uh, The hitch is included in your luxury package, your FX4 package, and your trimmer package. So, Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this earlier, but that bed extender is not available with your bed covers. Um, uh, just keep that in mind. As uh, so that way you, you know that. Um, also, of course, your tonneau cover is not available with your bed divider, which we haven't gotten to because that's new for this year. Uh, so I'll talk about that when I get to that part, I guess. Um, let's see what else. Make sure I didn't mention anything. Of course, you can't get the spray-in liners, drop-in liners with the bed mats. You know, it's usually one type of liner, so either drop-in, spray-in, bed mat, the bed tray liner. None of those are compatible with each other, really. Uh, so you just have to get one or the other uh, for that. And you cannot get the drop-in liner with a couple of your different bed covers. So the hard folding or the soft folding and the hard roll-up uh, is not compatible with your uh, bed extender um, as well. So just keep that in mind. So a couple notes there I forgot to mention earlier. Now you do have this theft prevention hinge lock. So what this means is when your tailgate is down, do they show an image there? They don't. Why? Why not? Okay, so the hinge lock would be if your tailgate is down, right? So people can't take it because they are removable. The tailgates can be removed off of there uh, if you uh, hit the clips just right. Um, but this puts a, hin a hinge lock on there so they can't pull it out. And so people can't take it. So if you need to put that bed down to carry some things in there, that way people don't steal the back of it. That's what that's for. It is not to lock it into place or give your remote lock or anything like that. It is just to so that way they can't remove it when the tailgate's down. So as it mentions here, prevent unwanted removal of your vehicle's tailgate. Does not interfere with tailgate's operation. Uh, so that is something that is something that's a dealer installed option. And you can get that afterwards real easily through Ford Accessories and put it on yourself. All right, we do have the full size spare tire. That is something you get from the factory. Uh, it's 115 this year as well. Um, and that one there is, uh, you want to make sure you get that on from the factory. So that should not hold up builds. Some of the packages on the hybrids come with the full size spare, like the electric package. Uh, but on the EcoBoost, you're going to want to make sure you add that. Uh, as well as if you get a standard hybrid with no luxury package, you'll want to make sure you add that if you want it. The wheel lock kit. So this is a dealer installed option and is very easy to install yourself at $75 this year. And can, you can get that through Ford Accessories. You basically just take one of your lug nuts off and replace it with a locking lug nut. It's that simple. Um, but it is not holding up builds if you want to get that put on your vehicle. You do have the engine block heater. That is a factory uh, option that you want to make sure you put if you want that. If you live in a cold weather state, uh, you want to get that engine block heater. Uh, that, and that makes it so that it'll, it'll heat up easier in the winter time. So that's something you might want to look at getting. Uh, then this AeroSkin hood deflectors. You have a couple different designs. You have a smoked and you have a textured. The textured is my kind of that molded in material. Um, whereas this smoke is a really, a really nice one. A lot of people are putting that on those. Those are available. Those are dealer installed options. So the dealer would install it for you uh, later. Um, it's 140 for either one of those for this year. So it's gone up a little bit uh, for you. And this bed crossbars, um, this one says $800. We have a couple different options here um, that Ford has. One of them is um, called the cargo management. Let's see, where is that? That is a, I think that's a dealer installed option. Um, where is it? Yeah, cargo management system mounted cr bed crossbars. It's 335. Um, this is not, there's a couple different versions. Yakima makes one. So if you get this one, you can't get the Yakima one. And that one's 335. Uh, it doesn't say there's any interference with any bed covers with this one. So I'm not sure. Uh, I think the way maybe that's put on that there may not be an interference or that the bed cover kind of goes around it. But the Yakima one, there's a Yakima one that's available. Um, that's 680 and is not compatible with any of your bed covers. Uh, so that is a, a bed rail mounted crossbars. So like if you want to put a tent or something on there, you can do that. Uh, so I think the Yakima sits a little higher than this one does right here. So maybe this one goes inside. I don't know. But this one on here I don't think is available this year. So it's kind of given us a couple different options for those bed rails. So let's see what else. Also, there's a bed divider kit that's new for this year that is not available with your soft folding tonneau cover. It's 350 
Um, so basically in here in your truck, um, we can get a bed shot. There you go. So you have spots where you can put little dividers in the bed. Um, it, a lot of times you can get two by fours, cut them to the right length, and you can just make your own. But if you want to, Ford has their own kit. It's 350 if you want to get their kit. Uh, so it just kind of divides the cargo in there if you want to do that. So they've been doing that on F-150. Now they're doing it on these. So that's, I think, all your exteriors other than, oh, no, the new one for this year, the bed rail tie, uh, bed rail system. You can actually see the holes are already there. So if you want those bed rails that was part of the luxury package last year, they're a standalone option this year. That is not required to get the luxury package to get this option. It is a standalone option by itself. It is $225 for that option if you want that. Uh, that can you can get that uh, without adding um, the luxury package. Also, the front license plate bracket. So if you're in a state that requires a front license plate, that's going to be included in standard equipment. But if you're in a state like Kansas where it does not and you want one, it's a no-charge option. Dealer will install it free of charge, but you want to make sure you order that from the factory. You can get it later through accessories and put it on yourself or have the dealer do it, but the dealer will probably charge you if you get it. Let's talk about interior options now, and we'll go through this and see uh, most of these are was available last year and this year. So we do have the commercial roadside assistance assist kit here. Uh, so you can see it comes with a bag to put everything in. So it's a dealer installed option. So which means that we all come to the dealership in a box and the, basically the dealer would take it out of the box, put it in the bag, put it in your vehicle for you. So that's what they do. So this can, you can get from Ford Accessories website. I'd recommend it that way. It's $230 this year, $220 last year. So all these kits are available through Ford Accessories, by the way. Uh, this other one is a roadside assistance kit. Um, so you can see what kind of comes with that one there. And it comes with a bag as well to put everything in. Again, you get through Ford Accessories if you want. I don't didn't see that it was actually holding up builds um, last year. Um, but again, you can get it through Ford Accessories, so why take the chance? $70 this year as well. And then you have the first aid kit. So that one there too, you can see a band-aid, scissors and everything. So if you need it, nice little case it goes into. Again, something you can get through Ford Accessories. Um, that first aid kit is $50 this year as well uh, for the vehicle there. You do have this ash uh, cup and coin holder. I think that's available through uh, Ford Accessories website. Uh, but you can get that. Basically, it's a little cup that goes in a cup holder for you uh, for put coins in there or if you're a smoker to put uh, your ashes in there. Uh, so that is available for you. Uh, that is a dealer installed, uh, well, like they're calling a dealer installed option. Basically, they'll just put it in place for you. $45 this year, so it went up about five bucks. You do have these floor liners, they are a factory uh, installed option. So the factory will actually basically what they'll do is they'll put it in a bag and they'll put it in the tra back seat of the truck for you. And the dealer actually would put that in place. So, really, uh, but would come with your vehicle. So, you have two different options you have it with the floor mats and without. So the floor mats are standard equipment. I did not put this on here because last year I pulled these notes from last year and that originally wasn't on the order guide from last year. So carpeted mats are uh, for the front uh, floor foot, uh, footwells down there. They are available as standard equipment this year uh, as well as it was last year. Uh, if you want to get the, those floor mats and the all-weather mats, the floor liners, which is going to be in the front as well as the rear, uh, then it's 175. It's 135 if you don't want the carpeted mats. So it kind of saves you a little bit of money. So and those again uh, you can get from the factory. I have not been uh, last year. Did not see that holding up any of the builds. Um, um, getting built. Uh, most of the vehicles with those on there came in without any problem. Power tilt slide moonroof. So uh, that is you know your your moonroof here. So if I select it, that is 995 this year. That is a factory option you'll want to get. And that's not something you can really get through Ford Accessories. Um, so you want to make sure if you want the uh, moonroof that you go ahead and add it to your build. Um, there you go. So it does have a manual sunshade there and a power glass. So it is a power tip and slide uh, moonroof. So there you go. Smokers package, uh, as you can see there, it comes with that little uh, uh, little cup holder uh, bin as well as a little lighter that goes in the PowerPoint. Um, so that smokers package is available. Um, that would... Uh, be a dealer installed option, I believe. Um, maybe not. Maybe I don't see it here. So anyway, uh, that that package there, you can get that if you want to. Um, I'm trying to find the price. There it is, eighty bucks this year. Went up a little bit, and it is a dealer installed option. So the dealer, it does come in a package that the dealer would put in the vehicle. 
Now you can get an outlet. So you have a 110 outlet here. Let me explain this one for a second. This is not giving you the outlet in the bed. It's just the cab only behind the rear console gives you, when you get this, you get the outlet and you get two USB ports. You're actually gaining some USB ports as well. That is not holding up any builds. It's 150 this year and you'd want to have that done at the factory. So you'd want to put it on your build if you want that. The console vault. This is a dealer installed option as well. As you can see, you can get this later. Uh, I've heard they're pretty easy to install. Uh, yourself if you'd like to and i think that price is, uh, has stayed steady it's 390 this year as well so that is also something that you can add to your vehicle and have the dealer install it again that would be shipped to the dealership ahead of time and then the dealership would install it for you at that's that price if you get it through ford accessories you may have to pay that much and then pay for the dealer install it unless you install it yourself now i think i've covered everything i want to make sure there's anything here that was uh that's new for this year there is one the remote start so as it was part of the lecture package last year this year it is a standalone option um, but does require to get the lecture package to get the remote start it's 170 and what that's going to allow you to do is basically remote start the vehicle on the it's going to be on your remote so if you're close enough proximity you can lock the vehicle and press and hold that remote start and it'll remote start your vehicle when you're close enough you still can remote start the vehicle with your ford pass app uh, that won't you won't lose that you'll have that uh, but the remote start just allows you to have it on the remote. Uh, so you can get aftermarket remote starts. They usually come on a separate key fob that we put on your key ring. Uh, so that's an option. And like I, I, I've told a lot of our customers, there's a reason why they took the remote start, the spray and liner, and the bed rails off of that package. But not sure if it's affected, but the remote start right now is not currently on the constraint list. Uh, for this year so far so you know if you want that you know go ahead and have it put on there but keep in mind you can remote start the vehicle using the four pass app without any problem and i think that's everything i think we've covered all of the accessories here oh also the touch link bed lighting i didn't mention that on the exterior it's 320 um, that was actually on the website last year and is not showing on the website this year and so i just want to make sure that everybody knows that that is available 320 it's a dealer installed option the dealer would install it for you that might be something to think about because the install fee on that is actually more expensive than you think it would be um, what they show on ford's website on the ford accessories um, it's hard for a dealership to install that and for 50 dollars uh, it takes a while to to run that bed light you, you basically have to run it back through the wiring and everything and it, it can take a little while so um anyway so that might be something you might want to do and i don't think that's holding up builds uh if you want to get those on your order there and that might be a good idea um lastly before we're done here on the options these accessories down here i didn't mention this in the xl video but anything down here in the accessories there's not something you can add uh, on your order from the factory so if you're if you talk to the dealer and say i want this and all this and the dealer says i can't find it and you're, and you're like it's on the website um, they're actually not lying to you. It is not on there. So any of these under the accessories, Ford's intention is that you would get those through FordAccessories.com. Uh, so those are all things. They're pretty cool items. It's just showing you what some, some of the capabilities are and what different things that you can add, like the dash cam and such. But those aren't things you can add from the factory um, to be put on even at the dealer. But you can order it through Ford Accessories and have the dealership install these or even have the dealership order these for you if you want and have them put on. So just keep in mind, anything under accessories is not factory ordered options. Um, you know, you would have to get those through FordAccessories.com. So there you go. That's our complete guide for the XLT trim on the 2023 Ford Maverick. Hopefully we uh, went over everything, all the standard equipment, different packages available, standalone options, and all those different ideas of maybe what you should think about maybe uh, holding off on your build um, and uh, when you're ordering. And again, keep in mind, you can make changes to your order. So if you have a 2023 Ford Maverick order in XLT and you maybe saw some things in this video that were like, I'd like to have that, or I'd like to have that, or let me take that off now that I've watched the video. You can go to your dealership and they can make those changes to this order. So keep in mind, any of this can be changed. The only thing that cannot be changed is the motor at this point in time. So they did tell us that we won't be able to change the body code or the trim, which would be from XLT to Lariat and such. But at this present time, we're still able to make those changes. So that might change here in the near future. Uh, just keep that in mind. Sometimes people come back and say, well, you're wrong. I can't change that. Uh, well, at the time of this recording of this video, uh, we could still change the trim as well as the body code, which takes you from all-wheel drive to front-wheel drive and such back and forth. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, it is available at, at this present time. You just cannot change the motor out at this time. So any other changes you can make, any packages you can add, take off, 
any uh, different uh, standalone options. If your dealer is struggling with adding a certain option, it may be because there needs to be a different option selected or maybe an, an option needs to be taken off to select it. So you might uh, you know, get a hold of me if you have any questions on that and I can help you through all of that uh, and, and be able to do that for you. So again, uh, hopefully you get, did enjoy this video. If it gave you some sort of bit of information, smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the, van, the video and the channel. And uh, speaking of that, if you wanna get more videos like this, Hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified the next time we have another video uploaded to YouTube channel. And we still have one more Maverick video to complete, and that's the Lariat trim. So you definitely want to make sure you have that notification turned on so you can get information on that video as well. You can also find us on social media. We're at Lama MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So feel free to follow us there. If you want to, you can follow me as well. There's my Linktree account there uh, with all the different social media sites you can find me on. If you want to follow me uh, particularly, you can do that. And, uh, and I'd love to interact with you and to get to know you a little bit. So feel free to do that. And uh, other than that, I think we're done here. So until the next video, we'll see you later. Thanks.